was goody. It's your boy Rhino. You guys are watching Loveless Serve. We would like to welcome all the new viewers. If it's your first time on this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Follow Nobo and I on Instagram. We would love to have you. Now, the reason you clicked on this video, we are here to answer the age old question. Is water wet? If you came to this video to answer this question, you've come to the right place. Here we go. A lot of people are like, there's, there's no way it's wet. If you say it's wet, I'm gonna kidnap your grandmother. People say, well, wait, no, water is wet because it's just molecules on top of each other and it just is what it is. So, huh? The first off, the reason this is even a debate and why everyone's questioning this is because the question itself, chemically speaking, doesn't make a lot of sense. This is not only a chemistry-based question, like a science chemistry-based question, it's also a interpretative literature-based question. The literature part is up for interpretation. So we're getting right into it right now. I know I hit you with some big words, but stick with me. There are valid arguments for both sides. First off, we're gonna look at why people say water isn't wet. They say water isn't wet. Wetness is a description of our experience experience of water. What happens to us when we come into contact with water or when something comes in contact with water? Very true. And Chaz Smith, he made a big video that I think a lot of people now trust and believe. So listen to what Chaz says about why water is not wet. The term wet is an adjective that is only conditional that's used to describe the surface of something that is typically dry. Water cannot be covered or saturated with itself. Thank you. Okay, Chaz, so what he said does make a lot of sense why water would not be wet, right? And let's look at his definition. Wet, cover it or saturated with water or another liquid. So by this definition, Chaz and a lot of people who say water is not wet, they are all correct. All this is true in his video based upon his definition that he used in his video. And the definition he used, which is the definition a lot of people use, is the Google definition, which says wet is an adjective covered or saturated with water or another liquid. So if you choose to believe this definition, then okay, that makes water not wet. However, hold your horses. A lot of people might be familiar with the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, which is trusted since 1828. It's what a lot of people use. And in this definition, it says, definition of wet, consisting of, containing, covered with or soaked with liquid such as water. So wait a second, all right, soaked with water, correct, it's wet. If it's covered with water, it's wet. If it's containing water, it's wet. So by this definition, this bottle of water in its entirety would be wet because it is containing water. A bucket filled with water is wet. But this is where it gets funky and interesting. It says consisting of. So if something is consisting of water, then it's wet. So wait a second, consisting of, what does consist mean? Consist is be composed or made up of. Whoa, so it would be safe to say that water consists of water. I think you and I will both agree that water is made up of water. Simple equation here, is H2O made of H2O? Yes, it is. So that means if you believe this dictionary definition to be true, then yes, water is wet. So now what? One dictionary says water is not wet. One says it is wet. So I threw a lot of information at you real quick. So let's sum it up. So the next time someone asks you, is water wet? Do you think water's wet? Here's what you need to do. You need to say, well, have you watched Love Live Serve's video about is water wet? So if the person says, uh, no, I have not seen that video. Who, what is Love Live Serve? That's when you need to say, boy, I'm about to rotisserate your ass. You need to tell them, you need to watch a Love Live Serve video. I don't know how you haven't heard of the greatest YouTubers of all time. Tell people to watch this video to get a more informed view about it and the second thing is you need to ask them is which dictionary definition are they using to define wetness so now the question is not is water wet the question becomes which dictionary do you deem to be the most reputable and credible because it can be proven that by one definition it is wet and by another definition it is not wet and that's all up for you guys to decide and this question will never be answered because it's not just a scientific question this is a opinion based question because realistically every definition was made by a human so every definition now becomes an opinion so basically everything that you know and everything that you think is kind of all made up Made up, yeah, correct. <laughs> um, what's right, what's wrong, what's good and what's bad, Democrat, Republican, like that's all up for human interpretation. So we've given you all the facts here. I believe just about every single dictionary that's out there. So I can't say yes it is wet and no it's not wet. I believe all the dictionaries because they're all pretty much right. So this is for you guys to start a war in the comments, debating with each other and having your own personal beefs and conflicts. Do that in the comments and let me know, what do you think, is water wet? Until next time. Peace, now I'm thirsty. Shit.